Battery Chem will save you money. This video is brought to you by the makers of Battery Chem. Today we're going to show you how to recondition a six-year-old battery. It's been sitting a long time and it's pretty badly sulfated. It is a sealed battery with hidden service ports. We're going to show you how to remove the decals and find the ports under the decals and how to remove the hidden ports. To remove the decals we use an ordinary hair dryer and a pocket knife. We simply warm up the decal with a hair dryer and then carefully peel off the decal and then we stick it to the side of the battery so we'll have all the maintenance and reference codes that came with the battery stuck to the side. Notice that once the decal is warmed up with the hair dryer it peels off quite easily. Make sure to keep the hair dryer trained on the decal the entire time you're peeling it off. That way there you will not rip the decal and ruin it. Now just stick the decal to the side of the battery. It can remain there always for reference. As you can see, the service caps that were hidden under the decal are now exposed. We're going to take a hammer and a sharp tool called an awl, and we're going to just get the awl started under the cap and simply lift it off the battery. We're going to repeat the process for all six service caps. That is an awl and a claw hammer that we're using. It's a relatively simple process. Just take your time and do it right. You're going to have to reuse these caps after you service the battery. These service caps are a fairly tight fit, so you should exercise a little care when removing them. Now that the service caps have been removed, we're going to do some simple tests. Please pay attention because this is very important. The first thing we're going to do is take a small flashlight and check the level of the electrolyte in the cells. Now we do not add electrolyte until we're finished servicing the battery with chemicals then we would top it off if it is necessary. This particular battery was not low on electrolytes. It was just sulfated very badly from sitting for years without being used. But we have to check the cells to be sure. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the battery hydrometer and we're going to measure the specific gravity of each cell. Now you'll notice that it's reading way up in the red. That means that these cells are in terrible condition. That's due to sulfation from sitting. Each cell has to be checked individually. The next thing we're going to do is to check the individual voltage in each cell. We do that with a voltmeter and test probes. Starting with the positive lead on the positive terminal of the battery, we read to the first cell. Then we take the positive lead and stick it in the first cell, and we read to the second cell. Each cell is supposed to read a minimum of two volts. Now we just go up the battery and read from cell to cell. Positive goes in the second cell, negative goes in the third. Positive goes in the third cell, negative goes in the fourth. As 
you can see, we got some pretty tough readings there. All right, positive goes into the fourth cell, negative goes into the fifth. Some cells are fine, some are not. All right, positive goes into the fifth, and negative goes into the sixth cell. You can see that some of the cells are reading under two volts. Now we're going to do the load test. We take the positive connector, put it on the positive terminal of the battery. Take the negative connector, put it on the negative terminal of the battery. Now we read the meter to begin with, and we would normally record this number. It's reading about 12 and a half volts. This is a good indication the battery can be brought back. We press the load test the button for approximately 10 seconds, and it drops way down into the yellow comes right back up into the green. This is another good indication that the battery is recoverable. Whenever you are attaching cables to a battery, always put the positive cable on first and remove it last. That way there you will avoid making sparks. Sparks are dangerous around batteries because batteries accumulate hydrogen gas and a spark will ignite the hydrogen gas and cause an explosion. So be very careful when putting cables on and off a battery. We have determined that the battery is salvageable and now we are adding a tablespoonful of battery chem to each cell. As you can see, this is a simple process. It is not very lengthy either. Just be careful not to spill and waste your chemicals. We are doing this in real time so that you can get a good idea how long it takes to do one battery. We are using battery chem which is our 25 year old proven formula. We have been very successful with this product. Battery chem also works on golf cart and forklift batteries of any size. All marine batteries, truck batteries, automobile batteries, any kind of lead acid battery, battery chem will work. Battery chem comes in bulk or in convenient packages. We call them six packs, one pack for each cell. This is the product, battery chem. This pouch contains six tubes of battery chem. Now we just clean the battery off and it's ready for the charger. Next, we're going to hook up the charger. The red cable is the positive cable, and the black cable is the negative cable. And they must match the positive and negative symbols on the top of the battery. Red is always positive, and black is always negative. We will charge at the maximum voltage and the maximum amperage until all the cells are bubbling. That indicates that they will take a charge. Then we will switch the charger over to a long slow charge at no more than five amps and we will continually test the battery until it reads properly. This is an overview of all the equipment that we use to do this battery. You notice we are showing both bulk battery chem and pouch battery chem. Several hours later, the battery is nearly fully charged. We've decided to stop for the purposes of making this video to show you the difference in the readings already. This battery will still have to be charged for several more hours at a long, slow rate. Next, we're going to show you the readings of the battery at this point. Notice the load testers now are reading up in the red, showing a higher voltage, approximately 13 volts. There's probably some surface charge in there, but now there's the load tester. You can see now that when you hit the load tester, 
it drops down but it stays in the green before it was going way down low in the yellow. This is an indication that this battery is now in very good condition and all it needs is a long slow charge in order to top it off. We are replacing the caps now just to show you how easily it can be done. We can remove them again tomorrow just as easily if we want to do more service on the battery. My experience tells me that the battery is in fine condition right now and could go right back into a vehicle or into a boat and the generator would finish charging the battery normally anyway. That concludes this training video brought to you by the makers of Battery Chem. Battery Chem will save you money. This is Walt Barrett for Battery Chem.